All right, uh, here's what we have, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to uh, divide rational expressions now. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Uh, what we do need to know is basically how to set it up. So we're going to go back and again tap your hand into our background knowledge. Uh, we're taking basically two fourths and trying to divide it by four eighths. Well, to be able to do this, we don't actually divide fractions. What we do instead is we multiply by the reciprocal. So what that means, and you may have learned this different ways, keep it, switch it, flip it, or I can't remember what some other uh, middle school or elementary school teachers have taught kids. But anyway, uh, the first fraction stays the same, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So it looks a little something like this. And then it just becomes a multiplication. So we would say, uh, this will go into this. Two times, two will go into this, uh, four. Uh, four and four. So we get one over one, which of course is one. Let's look at a more uh, appropriate example for what we're trying to accomplish. So we take x squared minus 2x minus 8, divide it by x squared minus 9, and divide it by x minus 4 over x plus 3. So again, what we're actually going to do is not this problem, but we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So let's see if I can't remember uh, what it's going to be. Times x plus 3 over, and I think it was x minus 4. Hopefully I remembered that correctly. So now we've got it set up, and then it's just a multiplication problem very similar to what we've been doing in the past. So I'm going to try to factor everything first. We can use trial and error here because uh, the leading coefficient is 1. Two numbers will multiply to give me negative 8. That will add to give me a negative 2, negative 4, and a positive 2. Down here, difference of squares, uh, x plus 3, x minus 3. Uh, this is a linear binomial, no common factor. Linear binomial, no common factor. So I can't factor those. Uh, now, I did all the hard part, the E part. Look for anything in numerator or denominator that I can divide into itself. Multiply your numerators together to get your numerator. X plus 2. Multiply your denominators together. X minus 3. So that's how you divide rational expressions. We'll look at another example here in a second.